Hi, I'm Al Duffy. I'm the president of the Ontario Regiment Tank Museum in Oshawa, Ontario, Canada. And I'm sitting on one of our newly restored vehicles. We still have a ways to go, but our Centurion. Canadian Centurion served, served with the Canadian Armed Forces. So without getting into the history of the actual tank development itself, we got to look at Canada. At the end of World War II, Canada left its armor all over in Europe. So they had to have a tank and they needed a tank that would be able to compete against the Soviet Union in, in Europe. And in 1952, they purchased approximately 270 uh, Mark III Centurions from the British government. And over from between 52 and 53, they took delivery of those. And they went through a variety of upgrades. Uh, this, was, this one actually probably never saw Europe. Um, it stayed uh, in Canada and the Canadian Armed Forces trained the staff going over, trained our military personnel on these vehicles to go over. This started off with a, uh, a 17 pounder gun, which is about a 76 millimeter cannon. And they upgraded to a, a 20 pounder, which is about an 84 millimeter. And then they actually went up to the L7, which is a 105 millimeter. This one has a, has a, uh, uh, a 20 pounder, so this never was upgraded. But anyways, so we used them roughly from 1952 until 1977. 25 years of service, the Centurion uh, was used and we never really saw any conflict in it. When the Canadians went to Korea, we never, uh, we never used, we used Shermans provided by the Americans. But the British used in Korea, they used these and so did the Australians, very successful. But let's come back to Canada. Canada had, in 1969, they had an inventory and there was about 373 uh, various Centurions. That's all makes, models, marks, various degrees of upgrading is what we had in our arsenal, our tank arsenal. And 77 of those were in Europe. And they would have been upgunned to the L7 and they would have had the latest gun stabilization systems and they would have had an infrared that would have been a big red infrared lamp up here where I'm sitting. And by 1977, even though we were still doing well on the gunnery range against our allies in Europe at various competitions, uh, it was deemed that we had to do better. We had to look at something different. So Canada then chose to go to the Leopard and the Leopard C1 or the Leopard 1. And as you can see, there, there's one right there, a Canadian Armed Forces. This is a C2. This is the latest version of the C2 that the Canadian Armed Forces had. And then it was just last year that the Canadians, having heavily replaced the C1 with the C2 with a Leopard 2, now took these out of service. So there's a bit of an evolution from the Centurion right up to the Leopard. Currently the Canadian Armed Forces are using Leopard 2s. So if you did enjoy this little brief informative session, at the, at the Ontario Regiment Tank Museum, please check below for the links. And if you'd like to find out more about our vehicles and how you could come and see us uh, or any other information of a tank nature, don't hesitate to, to check us out and follow us through.